Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use custom CSS to edit the captions for image galleries in Squarespace 7.1. That's right, in 7.1, those gallery sections that you can add to any page can now have captions associated with each individual image. What I'd like to walk you through is how you turn on those captions so that you can see them, where you actually edit those captions in the individual image itself, and then I'm gonna walk you through some custom CSS that you can use to change how those captions display. We're gonna change the color, we're gonna change the font size, we're even gonna change the font family, and I'll even show you a really cool trick so that you can display that caption only on a hover. That's right, text on a hover over your gallery image in Squarespace 7.1. Now, as usual, all the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but I wanna make sure you understand exactly how to use them before you copy and paste them into your own site so you know what parts you need to change to make it match your own unique style. All right, let's hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my 7.1 demo site, and I'm just gonna select edit here so I can show you how we made those captions show up. So if you want to add a gallery section, I have two different gallery sections here, you can just click any plus sign on any page and grab it from one of these particular sections. Now, whatever style you start with here doesn't really matter because you can always change it afterwards. If you click this edit icon here, you can change to any type of gallery you'd like to show. Now, I'm going to scroll down here. When you click that edit icon, this is where you can toggle on or off those captions. If I turn it off, we'll just see the images. If I turn it on, there we go, <laughs> took a second to catch up. If I turn it on, then we're just going to see the captions, okay? Now, now that you know how to turn those on, how the heck do you edit those captions? You need to click this picture icon. This picture icon is where you upload the images to your gallery, and then the description is where you add the text for that particular caption. Now, if you click this plus sign, you can search for images in the Unsplash database or on your own site. You can upload new images, or you can just drag and drop them into here. But regardless, however you get the images in there, this description is what's going to show up as the caption. You can also have the image link to an external page or another page on your site. To do any of that, just click this gear icon here, and this is where you can add a particular link for that image. But again, this is where the description is. I'll show you that one more time. We're in edit mode. I click on the picture icon, and then the description for each image is what's going to show up as the caption, okay? Fabulous. Let's go ahead and select save, and we're gonna hop over to custom CSS to start making some changes. So I'll navigate to design, and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting the code. Now again, all these codes are in the video description, so you can copy and paste them into your own site, but I wanna walk you through it so you understand what we're changing here, okay? So let's start with the caption itself. It's just going to be gallery caption, and then the letter P. Now we're adding the letter P because we're about to change elements of the font. And I need to use that letter P to make sure that Squarespace understands, hey, I'm changing the paragraph text here. This is what we're about to edit. So I'm gonna open up a bracket and I'm gonna say color red. And you'll notice the color changes to red. Pretty awesome, right? Let's change the font size. I'll add a semicolon and say font size one REM. Let's see what happens. Nothing happened with the font. How about we try exclamation point important. There we go. Now the font size has been reset. Sometimes when working with text or really any CSS, you might need to add exclamation point important to make sure the browser pays attention to your code instead of the site styles file that it sees. All right, so we've added those two parts right there. Let's change the font family really quick. Let's make it a serif font. So we'll get that line at the top and the bottom. Again, I'm gonna add important here. There we go. So now we have the serif font kicking in. Pretty cool, right? So let's say you'd like to change the background of that caption itself. We no longer need that letter P. I can create a new line here and just say gallery caption, and then I'll open up a bracket and say background yellow. And there we go. Now the background of the caption is yellow. Now let's say we wanna pull this caption on top of the image itself. This is a great place to add like a negative margin if you'd like. So I'll add a semicolon and say margin top negative 20%. That's gonna scoot that caption up on top of the image for me right there. So then last but not least, I did allude to a cool hover effect, and that's something we can absolutely do. This requires a little bit of clever code right here though, and I'd like to show you. What we're actually going to do is say, gallery grid item hover. 
What this means is when you hover over the gallery grid item, then this code is going to take place. Really important to mention, this top gallery here is a grid type gallery. If you're using a different type of gallery that's not a grid, you're gonna have a different name. Listed in the description is just the code name for that particular gallery, so make sure you see which one you're using. I'm using a basic grid, it's called gallery grid item. That's where we're adding the hover effect. Then I'm gonna say gallery caption, open a bracket, and say opacity one, important. Now, right now, it's still visible because I need to go back to my gallery caption and add a new line that says opacity zero, important. So what we're saying right here, oops, I forgot the letter P, important, there we go. So what we're saying right here is don't show the gallery caption, make it completely invisible unless I've hovered over the gallery grid item. When I do that, the gallery caption gets an opacity of 100%, meaning it's 100% visible. So one more important thing to add, transition duration. Right now, what I've set this to means that that caption will only show up very slowly. I think it's set to five seconds or something along those lines. So I'm gonna add a semicolon and I'm gonna say transition duration zero S. I want this to take zero seconds. I'll go ahead and add an important there as well to make sure it's prioritized. So now when we hover over, we're gonna see that really quickly, okay? There we go. So hovering anywhere over this image, I'm going to see that caption. So let's recap this really quick, okay? If you wanna change anything about the caption, the color of the font, the font family, the size of the font, the code name for that is gallery caption P, okay? That P denotes paragraph text, and you might need to throw in that exclamation point important so the browser recognizes your code needs to be prioritized over any other code it sees. Now, if you wanna change the background of the caption, adding a color to it or pulling the entire caption up above the image, you're gonna to wanna to use gallery caption, okay? That's for background color and that's for moving it around the page. And then last but not least, if you'd like the caption to only show up on a hover, you need to add the hover effect for the whole image itself. Now, in my example, I was using a basic grid or the simple grid gallery type. There are six different gallery types. I have the code names for each listed beneath the video here, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is say gallery grid item hover, meaning when your cursor's hovered over that gallery grid item, ca gallery caption opacity one. So let me break that down one more time because again, that was complicated. What we're basically saying is when your mouse is over the image, when it's over that gallery grid item, then the gallery caption becomes 100% visible. You also need to go back to your original code and make sure that the gallery caption is set to not visible outside of that hover line. So again, the example is in the description below. You can copy and paste it from there into your own site and then play around with those values a little bit to understand how it works. So I hope that wasn't too complicated for you. I'm really excited about utilizing these gallery captions and hopefully these codes make you feel a little bit more confident about customizing your own so that they match your site style. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.